Today is a special day. We're celebrating Spartan culinary classroom chef Amy Sherman's birthday. That's right, and it's prompted her to relieve a little bit of her, relive a little bit of her childhood with a favorite dish with a brand new twist. Happy birthday. Thank you. We were asking her, we guessed 29, so we're gonna just leave it we're there. We're going right. with it. That's right, <laughs> exactly. Been 29 for a while. That's okay. <laughs> we're so glad that you came in to celebrate with us. And then also, as you always do, share some great culinary tips. Yeah, we have a great recipe today. And when I was um, a kid, every year I asked my mom to make her sweet and sour chicken. It was a huge favorite in our household, and it was delicious. And after I looked at her recipe this week, I'm like, oh, no wonder we liked it. It had over a cup of sugar in it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like something that has lots of sugar. Lots of sugar, but it doesn't have to. So what mm. I did, because I had kind of a hankering for it, was make, I remade it so it was a healthier version. Oh, but one that you and your kids will still really enjoy, because it is a little on the sweet side. Um, and so we start off with lots and lots of fresh, whole vegetables, and that is really the key to all healthy cooking. So we've got some boneless, skinless chicken breast, which is on sale this week at Family Fair, and carrots, and red and green peppers, so mm -hmm. they give a little bit of a difference in taste, but and those red color. peppers, we love, lots of color. Um, pineapple, I actually use the canned pineapple in this dish, because then you can use the juice off of the pineapple, so you don't have to purchase pineapple juice as well, so it kind of keeps it a little bit easier to mm -hmm. make, but you could use fresh if that's what you have. Do you get it in the light juice, just to again keep... With in the, the juice, not in the heavy syrup, that's okay. key, because that's just more sugar that you right. don't need. So, And then to make the sauce, instead of the cup of sugar that my mom's recipe had, no offense, Judy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, we lightened it up a little bit by using honey, which is a good a natural sugar. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit, to me it tastes sweeter than regular sugar, so you don't have to use as much. So I dropped that down to a quarter of a cup, so it's a lot less. And then I added fresh ginger, fresh garlic, little hot pepper flake, and then lots of fresh orange zest. Okay. Ah. And zest is a freebie, remember that. There's no fat, no calories in it, so you can add it to lots of different things, and it gave it this real great orange kick to it. So I really liked that addition. So then do you put the juice in there too? Do you zest it and then use the juice? Or well, use here's my next trick. Okay. Okay. I got a couple other tricks for you. All right. <laughs> One of the things that I keep in my freezer at all times is a can of orange juice concentrate. The beautiful thing about this is it is a punch of flavor. So you can add one tablespoon and it's going to be like whammo orange and you don't have to worry about reducing anything down so it makes it quicker. Mm -hmm. You can use this in marinades for say chicken or fish or steak. You could put it um, to make a homemade dressing and you wouldn't have to have it so liquidy then. It's going to make it nice and thick. So I added actually a couple tablespoons of the orange juice concentrate. That's a good trick. I was sauce. wondering how you're going to get around that sauce because that's uh, typically what it's is... It's the downfall. So bad. <laughs> but also the fact that a lot of the times, the chicken is deep fried, and Absolutely. so I have a feeling you didn't do that. For no this way dish. do we deep fry it. That's that's a definite no no. But what you do is when you when you and I have this in the recipe that will be available online is mm -hmm. to cook your chicken in batches. So many times, home chefs make the mistake of crowding the pan with all of the meat at once, and then the meat steams as opposed to getting really brown and caramelized, and that is car that caramelization is free flavor. Mm -hmm. So do the chicken in batches and let it just sit, resist the urge to mess around with it and stir mm -hmm. it up, and just let it sit for like five or 10 minutes till it gets very brown, and then turn it over. And that's gonna give you that really deep flavor um, and you won't miss the fact that it's so not deep what, fried. So what do you cook the chicken in? Do you put like some wok oil in there? A tiny bit of oil, yep, I use a canola oil, and okay. you can use a wok, or you can just use your regular skillet. It doesn't have to be a wok. Just do it over a fairly high heat, medium high to high heat. Yeah, mm. okay, so if you look at this beautiful dish, there's something else that really stands out, mm -hmm. and it's what it's on. It's this what it's on. So normally you would have it on white rice, which there's nothing wrong with white rice. It's, it's great. Um, but this is on quinoa, actually, Rachel. Couscous is a pasta, so that's kind of a, oh, okay. it's a, it's a real, it's a carb. It's a, you I know, get the two mixed up a they lot. They look They're very, very similar. similar, but quinoa is actually a seed. Okay. Um, and it has the highest level of protein out of any of the whole grains. So it is a great source of protein, perfect if you're vegetarian, perfect if you've maybe had weight loss surgery and you have to incorporate a lot of protein in your diet. Um, but it's just good because it's gonna fill it's gonna fill you up, but it's not gonna give you that carb high and then the drop. You're gonna be much more evened out. So it's a great mm -hmm. grain to incorporate in your diet. Okay, so talk to us about how we pre how we prepare quinoa. Quinoa cooks just like rice. Okay. The only trick with it is you want to make sure that you rinse it first because it has a bitter coating on the outside that protects the seeds okay. from some birds. Mm, thank you. So rinse it off really well, and then you just um, cook it uh, two to one ratio water to the quinoa, and you're good to go. Wonderful. Yeah. I love that. And if we don't use the whole bag, you're talking to us about storing this and some of those other things like wheat germ and those other Any items. whole grain you should keep in the fridge. Because it has um, all the parts to the grain, it also has the natural oils in it and that's what can go stale. So if you put that um, in your fridge, mm. it's gonna make it last longer um, and it won't go stale. And 
it's a good thing then. This is amazing. The so orange good. taste mm -hmm. really just shines through this. Right, and not that cloying sweetness. So. Right, you're not losing anything, although you're not putting all the sugar in and all the other things that you would in a typical sweet and sour chicken. But you still have that little bit of sweet, through. and it's and it's much healthier. So I can still enjoy my birthday dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can confess, as much as I think I have lousy Wonderful. eating habits, I've never been one who's been a fan of sweet and sour because I thought it was too sweet and too heavy. Mm -hmm. This is something I could easily make and share with my family. This awesome. is delicious. Good, when it's not bright red either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, and we're gonna have the recipe for this dish, healthy, sweet, and sour chicken on our website later this afternoon, so you have to look for it. Absolutely. Uh, we have a cake here my as birthday. well. Yeah. It's my yeah. birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. We made it, so it's gonna be really good. What's underneath this coconut and, and white? Okay, awesome. so every year I make my own birthday cake because I don't trust Because you're a chef. <laughs> and <laughs> chefs <laughs> just do that. In the kitchen. <laughs> exactly, so I make my own birthday cake. So I always make a coconut cake, and I it's an amazing cake. It's got, soaked in rum, it has um, a coconut oh pastry goodness. cream, and I'll let you in on a secret, West. I started making this cake when my kids were little because they didn't like coconut. And oh. so I can have all the cake to myself. <laughs> on your birthday, you go. anything goes. That's right. Well, Amy, we love having you on our show. Oh, and shut And we up. appreciate so much what you do in sharing tips with us oh, and the rest of West thank Michigan. Thank you so much. We wanted to give you a gift to uh, you kick guys. off your birthday Happy weekend. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. You're part of our family now. Thank you. And are you, you sharing really the are. recipe for the cake on our website as Maybe. well? Or is that a secret it's family? It's kind of a secret. Oh, okay. Well, for okay. sure, this, we can the rest of this will be. Yeah, this absolutely. will all be up on the website. Later on this afternoon. And you can find all these things at Family Fair, a really great place. As you said, the chicken's on sale this chicken's week, Chicken's on too. sale this week. It's Stock great. Up. Oranges yeah. are on sale 10 for 10, so check it out. Yeah, it is really great. And, of course, the fresh produce coming in because we're starting to turn the corner. I can't toward wait. the late spring and summer oh, months. Asparagus. We absolutely <laughs> love this it. Looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and check out the, the recipes from last time Amy was on, the fatouche. That's one of those amazing things. I don't it know where so you come good. up with all these great ideas, Amy. Well, you know, when you're this old. I'm mean, 29. <laughs> when you're 29 again. <laughs> when you have kids to cook for, you exactly. have to be make sure that you're really creative in the kitchen. And I love this. You can add it or subtract the items as, as you want. As you like. Yep. For your Put the veggies taste. in that you like. The right. girl right, gets the first Here piece. we go. Here's your first You guys piece. just take it from here. I'm no fool. I'm all about I'm the cake from here on out. There. Happy birthday. Thank we you. promise Thank to not you. sing. We'll be right back, folks. We have cake to eat. <laughs>